Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today we're going to do partial fraction decomposition. First example we have, and say, write partial fraction decomposition of x minus 9 over x times x plus 9. And it's instruction given here, do not solve it. So that's the first step. So first we will write the expression x minus 9 over x times x plus 9, which is equals to we look into the bottom, see if we can factor the denominator. x cannot be factored any further. x plus 9 cannot be factored any further. So using these two factors, we can say first factor of this is going to be x. Next part is going to be x plus 9. We write x plus 9. Now what goes on the top to separate x minus 9? Well, we're going to bring some constant, and constant, since this is a linear term, x, so the difference between top and bottom should be 1 degree, so on the top is going to be constant, just so we can call any letter a. And next one we also see is a factor of this whole thing. So when we put on the top, what we're going to put is a linear term also, we just write b. So partial fraction of x minus 9 times x times x plus 9, which is equal to is going to be a over x plus b over x plus 9. Let's continue with similar problem with x minus 9 over x times x squared plus 9. So in this case, let's do not solve it, just write it as a partial fraction without the constant. x plus 9 over x times x squared plus 9. We write. And in this case, we can also look into the denominator, see if we can factor. And there's nothing much you can factor. It's x is a factor times the x squared plus 9 is a factor. So we'll write again x plus this is going to be x squared plus 9 we cannot factor. So the way we're going to be writing it, what's going to be on the top? Again, the difference of degree should be 1. Since this is a linear term, we're going to, we can write a. Now, since this is, is x squared plus 9, this is a binomial term as a second degree. So degree difference in here, highest degree should be difference of 1. So we can write in this case bx plus c. Let's continue with the third example of partial fraction decomposition. So example 3 is write the partial fraction decomposition of x minus 9 over x times x plus 9 squared. So let's start. We'll write x plus x minus 9 sorry, over x times x plus 9 squared, which is equal to the straight factor. And when I try to factor this, x is a linear factor, x plus 9 also is a factor, x plus 9 squared is also a factor. So now we're going to have to write x as a factor plus x plus 9 is a factor because it's the first power plus we're going to have to write x plus 9 squared, that's also a factor of this whole thing. So again, going back to the degree difference, so denominator and denominator should be 1. This is a linear, so it should be a. This is also linear, the first degree, also b. You can write any letter you want to write. And this is x plus 9 squared. Even though it has a square on the top, that doesn't do anything. We just write c. It's a linear factor. Let's continue with example number four. In this problem, we are working on, it says, write the partial fraction decomposition of x minus 9 over x times x squared plus 9 squared. So again, we're going to do similarly the way we did before. We start with the expression x minus 9 over x times x squared plus 9 squared, which is we can factor the denominator first as an x. Well, next one we can say x plus 
x squared plus 9 to the first power plus we're going to write x squared plus 9 squared. So those are the factors we can have. And when you write the constant on the top, that's the hardest part to come up with. So again, it's not that hard. We can say difference degree should be 1. So this is a linear term of the first degree. So this should be uh, just say A. And then when we go to the second one, the difference degree should be 1. This is a quadratic second degree. So we're going to have to write Bx plus C. And then when we go here, this is also second degree, so difference of degree should be 1. So in here, we're going to write dx plus e.